All right, so we're gonna look at our results for experiment two. So uh, we have um, our Pikmin here that's separated now in paper chromatography. Uh, looks like there's a good separation there. So I'm gonna bring this over here on this piece of paper. And so if you remember, we had a mixture that started right over here and that was spinach juice, which had all the different uh, pigments that are found inside the chloroplasts. Um, and we had our solvent that started down here and moved all the way up to this orange line. So if you look in your lab, you'll see the different pigment names and uh, the carotene moves all the way to the top. So um, first I'm gonna draw a line to show that the solvent moved from the bottom all the way up to where the carotene is. Okay, so that's my solvent line. And then the mixture separated by how polar or nonpolar it is, and they went to their specific places. So the first one, which is this kind of yellowish green, is chlorophyll B. Okay, so it went from here, and I'm just gonna go to the peak, which is right there. So it went, here, that's the blue-green one. And then it looks like chlorophyll A went up a little bit further. So if you remember by reading the lab, the paper is polar, the solvent is nonpolar. So if it's staying lower and sticking to the paper, then, it's, then the solution, the pigment, like chlorophyll B, is gonna be more polar. If it goes up higher, it's being carried by the solvent, and so it's more nonpolar. So my next one starts here, and it looks like it kinda goes to here. So that's chlorophyll A, all right? Um, then there's these two yellow bands. These are the xanthophils. So my xanthophils are gonna travel up one kinda Kind of hard to see the separation. I think maybe it's over here somewhere. That's one of them. And that's maybe about where the other one is. So this is xanthophyll one and xanthophyll two. It doesn't matter which one's one and which one's two, but we'll just label it that way. And then the last one is the carotene that goes all the way up. Now remember, it's not the same as the solvent. The solvent started from the bottom, but the carotene started from where we put it, right? So we're gonna go from here all the way up to there. Okay, so this is my carotene. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the ruler to measure all these distances and you're gonna to have to put this in your lap, right? So you're gonna have your measurement for the solvent line. Okay, so you can see about how much that is. And then you have your measurement for your chlorophyll B, and so again, remember, it doesn't go down to the bottom of the paper, it goes up to here, okay? And then there's your chlorophyll A, okay, so again, up to here. There's your first xanthophyll, and there's your second xanthophyll, and lastly, your carotene. So those measurements all go in your lab report, and then what you're gonna do is try to get the RF values by dividing everything by the solvent. So when you do that, you're gonna get all numbers under one. So your carotene might be closer to like a 0.8 or a 0.9, where your chlorophyll B is probably gonna be a much smaller number, a little bit closer to zero, not zero, but closer to zero, and you'll get a range by doing those measurements.